Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, we are dreading this. <laughs> but, um, so if you guys haven't seen any of my... If you guys didn't see Monday's video, then my eye is acting crazy. So I cannot film any makeup applying videos. So today we're doing my lip product declutter. So I actually was going through my collection and doing like a collection and mini declutter. But... Um, I hadn't done that with my lip products yet, so I felt like, whatever, let's just, um, declutter here together, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of a clip, um, of my, where I keep all my lip products, basically. Um, so yes, first, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. At first, I was gonna stand, but then I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna be so out of breath the whole time. Um, anyway, let's grab all my, um, look at all this. Madness, isn't it? Let's grab all my lip balms and do that first. Okay, I may or may not have more. I probably have more, not gonna lie. I have so many. Um, obvious keeps, definitely keeping both my Summer Fridays. I love them so much. So, they're so good. They're the perfect lip balm. They're a little bit glossier, so I kind of wear them as like basically a clear gloss, but um, essentially they're <laughs> a glossy lip balm. I really like them. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Summer Fridays, which I don't think is necessarily an exact dupe, but I think it's pretty similar if you're looking for something similar. Um, but I am gonna keep that one. I'm literally, I just, I'm going to keep the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Bomb in the shade Mango Kiss. I'm going to get rid of the shade Watermelon Kiss. I don't wear these enough um, to justify having both of them. Um, I'm going to swatch the other lip products, but these are all basically clear, so I don't want to swatch these and just waste, you know, time. Um, but I'm going to keep the Mango Kiss, and I'm going to get rid of Watermelon Kiss. Um, the rest of you, this is literally almost done. <laughs> I've been wearing this one today, and I'm literally, like, the bottom is, like, down to here, so I'm so excited about that. I'm literally almost done, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. Both my, um, ColourPop, of course, I'm gonna keep. I don't know if it's, this one's still re restocked by the time you're seeing this, but I know they did a, gr a huge restock, which I'm like, this one is so good, so I could see why people are requesting this to come back. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it just because, um, I like that they come out with, like, multiple. Like, I have this one, which is so good. It's birthday cake. Um, so I, like, I like having... The collection of them um isn't this so cute <laughs> but um i love these lip balms honestly they're so good okay now we're getting into like my least favorite i really don't like this thing but i paid 25 dollars for it i'm gonna just use it up um i honestly think like it's called it's it's pink marshmallow so it's the clear version of the tinted lip balm so it kind of defeats the purpose of it being a tinted lip balm because obviously it's clear. I don't recommend unless you want the tinted aspect to it, but then, like, it's not going to be a lipstick. I don't know. I just don't. I don't like it that much. I have the clear one, so it could be that. Okay, honestly, I could... I'm going to get rid of all of these. Um, I may or may not do a ranking my lip balm um, kind of video, but if I don't do that then I'm going to declutter them right now, but if I do do that, I'll save them for a little bit, but then I'll declutter them. Um, this is the Juvia's Place lip balm in the shade Mango. I love mango. I love pineapple. I love watermelon. I love, um, <laughs> coconut. Coconut's my number one, but I really like mango as well. Um, scented anything, but this one is, um, just so lightweight of a formula. I just don't like it as a lip balm. Um, I just don't think it's, I really wanted it really bad, so I really hyped it up for myself. You can see just how liquidy that is, and I like something with a little bit more grip as far as lip balms go, and um, something a little bit more moisturizing, something a little bit thicker, a little bit more nourishing. This one just doesn't do it for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Same with the Fenty. This one is terrible, honestly, like not going to lie. Um, <laughs> I got it in an Ipsy, and this one does have a little bit of stick to it, but it's honestly like not nourishing or thick enough. It's just like a... It's honestly similar... Honestly, these would mostly would remind me of, like, not even a lip oil, because I feel like lip oils have some tack to them. They're just, like, Vaseline. I don't know. This one is the worst for Vaseline. I tried to put it on this morning, and it was horrible. This is Glossier Coconut Balm. Um, and again, I love coconut, but it just comes out, like, literally like Vaseline. 
and I literally hate that. Like, what is that separation right now? <laughs> and then you put it on, and it's literally <laughs> just Vaseline. So, honestly, I don't like any of those. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of those because, again, I have so many that I love. No need to keep those. I may or may not do a ranking, though. I don't know you guys can see. Okay, the rest of these I am going to keep. I'm almost done with my Patrick Ta um, softening lip mask. You can see it's literally almost done. So, I'm so excited to use that up. Um, the Fenty one, this one is actually really nice. I wouldn't repurchase it just because I don't love the packaging to it. I feel like too much comes out at a time, but this one is actually like a, it's called the Plush Put-In Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. This actually is like a lip mask. It's thick, um, it's moisturizing, it's nourishing. I could probably wear this at night and um, use it up that way. And then we have the lip, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Wow, mask in the shade Peppermint. Honestly, like, since I've just gotten into lip balms, this one has become, like, my least favorite out of the ones that I still have. Like, out of my favorites. Um, <laughs> but not enough that I'll get rid of it. So I think I want to try to use this up. There's a lot of product in here. I've been using it since I got it as, like, my night sleeping. Well, actually, I was using up one other one that is in my empties now. But then I started using this, like, consistently. And there's so much product in here. Such a good bang for your buck. I love the peppermint flavor. But um, I think that this one doesn't last as long as some of my other lip balms. Um, and it's not as, like, nourishing after you use it. Like, after it comes off, um, you feel like you have to reapply it. Whereas some other ones, you don't feel like you have to re reapply lip balms for that long you know okay okay so this doesn't look <laughs> so good but it's lip balms honestly first of all these two are literally almost done and then the rest of these are like I love them so I'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven keeping eleven getting rid of four um sorry I forgot those two Yep, uh, keeping 11, getting rid of 4. I may or may not have another lip balm hiding in there, but <laughs> um, this is it for now. Okay, so I did forget two lip balms. These are both from the Harry Potter and 4-3 Beauty um, like collab, ColourPop, if you guys don't know. Um, I am actually panning <laughs> these, so I'm almost done with this one. This one is actually broken, so I don't know how far I'm going to get. Like, that looks just looks like a hot mess, but um, I'm going to try to pan them both. I did pan the two other ones, so I have good luck with these. Um, that's the thing, too, with my lip balms. I've used them up so frequently that it's fine that I have so many. I feel like, of course, everyone says that justification, but, you know, I'm going to keep these two as well. <laughs> so that's 11, 12, 13 kept. All right, now we have the madness that is my lip glosses. I just have way too many, and honestly, the table's looking, making it look like it's so much less than it is. I, like, not hate, but, like, my drawers, I'm just like, oh, you're so overwhelming. <laughs> and I want to use certain products, but I feel like I'm obligated to use other, like, it's, like, a whole thing. That doesn't need to be a whole thing, you know? Okay. Try to make this a little bit more... Okay, let's start off. I guess let's just do the top row here. So we have two Ofra glosses. Um, we have the shade Blissful, which is like a just a super shimmery gloss that I will never wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. But then we have the shade um, in the shade lip gloss in the shade Love. Um, again, both the Ofra lip glosses, which I actually like. It's just a nice like hint of pink but I do enjoy that one. So I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Sephora. Outrageous effect plump effect lip gloss thing. I actually I'm really mad. I didn't just get clear I wanted to get something so it wasn't like just basic But honestly, I only use up clear glosses like just being honest or like semi clear and this is way too pigmented For my liking so I like the formula. I may repurchase a different color, but I'm gonna get rid of that It's also time for my Sour Patch Kids lip gloss. I love this lip gloss <laughs> so much And it does still smell like Sour Patch Kids. This is X Morphe um, but I just never use it. It's so shimmery. It has like that fine sparkle in it. I just don't wear that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Also time for my Gordo gloss. This will definitely though be kept in like my sentimental block, my sentimental box. Um, this is ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire. Mr. Gordo. This is just so much like thick, nasty shimmer that like, oh my gosh, it is so bad. Like what the heck? But, um, I'm going to keep it somewhere, just not in my collection. So I'll get rid of that. And then we have my four um, 
Merit Beauty glosses. If you guys ever want to shop Merit Beauty, um, I do have a link down below. And it is a commission link for now. Hopefully, it could be a um, discount code eventually. But, I'll, of course, that takes time and support. So, if you want to purchase anything, definitely use my link down below. Um, and I make some commission off of that. I love these lip glosses I do. Um, the clear one is the shade... Uh, Bel, Air, Bel Air, which I actually really like this shade, um, and the formula is just very lightweight, not sticky at all. And then this is the um, tinted lip, sorry, this is the tinted lip oil in the shade Bel Air. This is the tinted lip oil in the shade Au Natural. Um, I'll swatch this one just because it's a little bit colored, but their pigmentation is not super, super like crazy on the lips. Like Once it's blended out, it just looks like a light wash, and I really appreciate that. Um, we have the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. Are these all the Shade Slicks? No. So the Shade Slade, sh slade shade Slicks, sorry, this is in the shade Pink Beet, but these have a little bit more pig pigment to them, and they're a little bit thicker of a um, formula, just so you know, though. Um, but they're really, really nice, and they're not as, like, oily, glossy, you know what I'm saying? Gonna keep that one. And then this is the... Mer the shade slick as well in the shade Marrakesh. This one is separating. I don't know why it's doing that because none of the other ones really do that. But I'm gonna get rid of this one just because I don't really wear it that much. And it basically looks like pink beet <laughs> anyway, so I don't need that one. But I'm gonna get rid of this one. But I really like this formula a lot. That pains me. All right. So then for the this is juice gloss, I'm not. I won't swatch the clear one. I'm literally almost done with this one. Like it's all the way down here. Like when it settles. Um, I'm so excited. This is the this is juice gloss from N Y X. Uh, in the shade coconut chill. You guys know I love coconut. Love a good clear gloss. Definitely will use that up. This is the same um kind of line, but this is the shade strawberry flex. I'll swatch it, but again, it's not really that pigmented. So you're not. It's just gonna look like a light, light, light thing of color. And I do really like um, this one. I also really like the uh, This Is Juice in the shade Watermelon Sugar. Um, again, they're basically clear, so I'll probably just use them all like up one after the other. Because um, usually I just use them interchangeably. This one is like basically clear. <laughs> um, but I like the scent too. Um, I do think I'm going to get rid of the Kiwi, Kiwi Kick. Um, I got this on sale the stale sticker was here at Target and I kind of just bought it just to have the collection but honestly this one does look a little green <laughs> I don't know if you could tell on the hand but it does look like a little green and I'm like okay I don't want to look sickly so I'm gonna get rid of that one I love both my NYX <laughs> lip drips I'll just call them lip drips um, and this is the shade uh, my main um, which I just love that clear formula. And then this is the shade Newsfeed, which I'll swatch, of course. I love, 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 love this formula. Love that color. I think it's just the prettiest wash of color. Um, the formula is so nice. It's long lasting. It feels good. Um, your lips are not dried out. It just is the perfect gloss. <laughs> so good. Um, these are really good too. The difference between them, I'd say, I tried to explain this in a video the other, oh, on Friday, I think I talk about these as well. I feel like the, um, lip drips are a little bit thicker. Like the, this is juice is a little bit more juicy and the oils are a little bit more like, lip oil type of it's really hard to explain and then <laughs> including this is really hard to explain too this is the milky gloss this is a little bit more milky I think if you're going for the milky glosses you're probably going more for the pigment because um they're basically you know mostly pi like uh, pigmented lip glosses and so there is a clear shade, which I'd have to try, and maybe that will be the best way to determine what the actual difference is. But I feel like this one is just a little bit more milky, a little bit um, more... <sighs> I don't want to say thicker, because I feel like that one's thicker, but I just feel like it's just a little bit more milky. <laughs> it's so hard to describe, but the, obviously you can see compared to like all the shine and um, gloss, this one is doesn't look as glossy, but it looks like, you know, more pigmented, of course. Definitely keeping that one, though. Okay, we're getting down to the last few here. Okay, I'm at 10. I don't want to keep more than 15 glosses, I think. Um, so let's see. Definitely keeping, what we're definitely keeping is the Harry Potter Luna Love Good Gloss. I love this gloss. This one is the best way to do like a gloss with shimmer. It's not huge chunks. It's very light chunks. You don't feel them on the lips. It's the prettiest just iridescence. This is definitely like Luna Love Good would approve and I love this gloss so much. I hate that ColourPop's packaging comes off like that, but I just, I love this gloss so much. So that's there.
Okay, definitely keeping also my Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, it's freaking leaks, and I guess that's maybe the con to it being a magnet magnet cap so you don't have to twist it you just pull it but mine was leaking and I was like what the heck but I'm gonna keep it because I really love this gloss in this formula I have the shade nude blossom and you can see here it's just a lightweight kind of color a lightweight kind of gloss it's not stick as like glossy as the rest of them it's just very lightweight more juicy um and it has the slightest slightest like light pink hue to it um and i love this gloss i think it's so lightweight it feels so good on the lips i really do like that okay that means we could keep three more and i think i want to keep the lights lacquer that's expensive it's jelly balm lip lacquer i'm like i i'm gonna just count it as lip gloss because i would never wear this as a lip balm because of the shimmer i'm just gonna swatch it next to luna love good down here because honestly they're pretty pretty similar not the flex that are similar but more so the formulas they're just very nice this one is more like a lip balm though kind of gloss um it just has those shimmers in it so it's very comfortable very lightweight you cannot feel the particles at all um it's a really really nice gloss so i'm definitely keeping that one who okay okay honestly who this is hard okay I think I want to keep only one of these so I'm gonna swatch them this is the love dive from she glam collection I love this collection um, this is I have the sh two of the glosses I the third one I literally lost because there's three of them but I did not declutter it this is the shade love on lock it's a little bit more pigmented and I really like this gloss actually um, so I think I'm definitely going to keep that one because I really like that color. I think it's so pretty. It's a really, and I don't, I didn't keep that many like more pigmented glosses. Um, I got rid of a lot of them. <laughs> and then this is the shade, uh, Through With Love. It's just like a normal gloss, you know, like a clear gloss. There's a little bit of color in it because I think I mixed it with another color because it's literally just a clear gloss basically. Um, <laughs> I think I put it on top of something and didn't wipe it off before taking it off. One, two, three. I have three, like, really plain glosses. I honestly think I'm just going to keep that one and get rid of these two. Um, this is the, well, let's go with this one, the Wet n Wild Mega Slip Lip Gloss in the shade Call Me Boss. I actually do really like this color. I just don't have a need for it, really. It's super, super metallic, and I never really wear colors like that um, unless I'm specifically doing, like, a Wet n Wild look, and then I'd wear it, but literally, that's it. Um, so I really have no need for it. It smells so good, and I really liked this formula, um, but I just don't need it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this one, too, I have, since I have another Rare Beauty lip product, I'm going to let this go finally. I've had it for a while now. It doesn't smell bad or anything like that. I don't remember how it smelled, though, in the beginning. Um, this one is just super, super pigmented, very specific. Um, I got it in an Ipsy, I think, so that's why the color is not a color I would wear normally or buy. Um, but I really like the formula, and I would consider repurchasing. I just, just would get a different color for sure. Um, I just don't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I love my Rare Beauty stuff. I really do, but this one's actually quite old, too. All right. I'm going to show you my hand one more time before I wipe it off. I shouldn't have started. Well, I guess liquid lipsticks will be the hardest to get off. But ugh, now my hand's going to be sticky. Okay, we're keeping 15 glosses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, not half of them being like NYX and Merit Beauty. But, you know, it's fine. Hopefully we can keep it like under the radar like this and not go too over that. Um, clear glosses are the easiest for me to lift, uh, to use up, so I don't mind having so many clear ones, but when they're, like, colored and stuff, and shimmers are so hard to wear, use up. And then we are getting rid of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight glosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight lip glosses. Awesome sauce. Some of these, like, I hold on to, like, the NYX, the Merit, um, even the Ofra and the Sephora collection, like, just to have a full collection of a certain brand. I'm like, Marissa, you have to stop doing that. Or, like, to have a full collection of, like, lip for the lip products. I just can't do that. All right, so now we have lipsticks. I count, like, these sticks as lipsticks just because they're, like, they're literally lipsticks. <laughs> so, um, they're just not in the, like, a normal bullet packaging but we count them over here we have a lot of these and honestly i literally only keep those for like sentimental so i'm gonna get rid of all of those um these are the ColourPop disney princess um like lip gloss set this is the merida one just for example i'm not gonna go ahead and swatch those because there's so many of them um but i'm gonna get rid of all of these i have like the box still and that kind of stuff and i kept these for a really random specific reason because <laughs> 
I'm not dating anyone, <laughs> but when I get married, <laughs> um, I want my wedding to do, to be princess themed and I want like all the centerpieces to be like a different princess and like their symbol. And so I kept these for like their symbol. I also just did a whole lip swatch video of them um, when I got them because um, I thought that would be fun and fresh on like my more medium tan skin tone because not a lot of people do them. So um, that's why I bought the whole collection. I just don't wear any of the colors really. You can't really tell what color they are because there are so many. Some of the reds are fun, but normally if I'm wearing like a brighter red or like just a specific color, it's going to be one that I can see. Ooh, sorry. One that I know, one that I can see, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get rid of all of these. Um, I'm going to keep them in like a sentimental place, but I'm going to get rid of all of those. Ay, ay, ay. I think I've had them for like over two years now and I've probably used them each like twice and that's pushing it for some of these colors. <laughs> okay, so then we have like my regular lipstick collection. Um, I don't even know, I don't really have a number for what I'm keeping. I definitely wanna keep this Makeup Studio um, lipstick. It's a matte lipstick in the shade 09. Um, this is in a project pan and I love this color honestly so I'm definitely keeping that. I think it's time for both my MAC lip products. I really don't know why I hold on to them. This is MAC Velvet Teddy. I really like this color. Maybe that's what it is. But honestly, I don't even like that color that much because it's a little bit too pink. This one is like more nude, and so I like that one better. I feel like I just liked it to have MAC, you know what I mean? And then we have Baited Breath by MAC. Um, this one is nice, bolder color, but again, I just don't wear colors like that, honestly. It's super, super moisturizing of a lipstick, but I just really don't wear colors like that. So getting rid of that one. These, I'm going to keep all three of them. This is the matte, oh, sorry. This is the Italia Deluxe Matte Mousse Lipstick in the shade Temperate, Temptress. One of you guys actually told me to try this brand, and I'm so excited that I did. Now, this one's a similar color, but it's a little bit lighter, and it has a more matte finish, so I know it's going to stay on there a little bit better, and I really like this formula. So just in case, I like to have that How on. Um, but I also like the shade 06 um, Terracotta. This is from the same brand. Um... Same formula. Look at how beautiful that color is. So stunning. And then this one is my favorite. It's the shade 15 Natural. I thought it was going to be too light for me, but honestly, it's a really nice color. Um, it works with, like, you know, deeper um, lip liners or just a lip gloss, anything like that. It's so beautiful. So keeping that one. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know. I think I want to get rid of this. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint from the High School Musical Collection. I love the High School Musical Collection, but I never wear this color. And I think it's in a project pan. I don't actually really know. <laughs> but I just need to get rid of this. I, I don't know. If it's in a project, I'll probably show you it that I'm getting removing it from the project or something. But I don't want to keep it. Um, then we have this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Bloom Time. I'm going to keep this one. It's not my favorite color in the whole wide world, but I can make it work. I think it's some, nice to have some unique ones so that when I, you know, go in and buy another lipstick, I'm not like, oh, I need this color because it's unique. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I have that color. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to hold on to this a little bit longer. Um, it's not my favorite, like, everyday kind of color you could see. It's a little bit brighter, um, a little bit peachier, but I'm going to hold on to that. We have this ABH lipstick in the shade Praline. This is a satin lipstick. Um, I just got this in an Ipsy, so I'm definitely holding on to that one. It's a little bit lighter, um, a little bit more of like a topper kind of um, lipstick, but I want to hold on to that a little bit longer. Then we have this little super, super baby mini of Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I love this color so much. Um, I love these lipsticks, honestly. Like, if I could see myself buying a full size, it would probably be this color, this lipstick. Um, like, for if I was buying a bougie brand, Charlotte Tilbury. But um, I'm going to hold on to that for sure. This NARS one I actually used um, once, but I did enjoy it. So I'm going to hold on to it a little bit longer. It's the shade Vel it's a matte velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. Actually... I don't know, I didn't mind it. So I'm gonna put it to the side real quick just to see what else I'm holding on to. Cause I do wanna keep the Muppets um, like lipstick. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. But the Muppets, um, what is this called? Glowing Lip from ColourPop. Cause I really, really like this formula. So freaking nice, so juicy. And then I know I'm going to keep my Tarte Maracuja in the shade Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Clear. I love this. Every time, like, my one friend, I was wearing this on my lips. She's like, what are you wearing? And I told her. She's like, she bought it. And then my sister, she wanted to borrow one. So I was letting her borrow this. And she's like, oh, my gosh, this is my favorite one you've ever let me borrow, ever. I'm like, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I'm definitely keeping the Merit lipstick in the shade, hoo, 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 the slip, what, in the shade slip? I don't know. 
It's the Signature Lip Lightweight Lipstick in the shade Slip, I think. Um, it's just like a very unique color in my collection. It's more neutral though, so I like having one of those on deck. It's a lot less pink than the rest of my hand. Um, so I want to have the, one of those, you know, just in case. And I really like Mirror Beauty, like I said, if you want to try it. But also, um, for this whole thing is so, so nice. And this was sent to me as well. Um, but I freaking, um, want, need to keep using this. I've only used it once. Okay, so where are we at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm like, should I keep all of these then? Like, ten is the perfect number to keep. Okay, I'm like, my OCD is like <laughs> freaking out. Okay, this is the She Glam. It's the Lip Plumper in the shade Walk on the Beach. I, the first time I used this, I did not like this formula at all. Um, but I've seen so many people like it. Of course, it's She Glam posting it, but I'm like, it looks good on them. I don't know what it is. It just looks patchy on my hand. Like, even on my hand, it looks patchy on the lips. It doesn't, like, go evenly. I don't know if it's just mine or what the formula. I don't know, but I'm, like, so annoyed with it. But I kind of want to give it a second chance because I have not tried it. Maybe we'll put this in, like, a chopping block kind of video because I have a couple products that might go in there. We'll keep it for now. <sighs> I think we'll keep all these for now. Actually, I'll get rid of NARS Dolce. It has no... <sighs> it has no real value to my life. It's right here, and I just don't even like that color that much. So um, I'm going to get rid of that. I got it with a free gift, so that's why I'm like, oh, I'll just keep it, but I really don't need it. And then the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I just don't like the color that much on me. It's a little bit too pink, but I did wear this the one day, and it was honestly stunning. So I think I will hold on to that. I do like the formula. I love the Tarte Maracujas. Um, way better than the She Glams, but um, I just didn't love this color. So maybe we'll hold on to that. I just got to get the junk off. We'll hold on to that one. So we're keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We're keeping 12. Getting rid of a lot more than that. We're only getting rid of <laughs> four, like, regular lip products, but then we're getting rid of 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the ColourPop uh, like collection. So 12, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we're getting six, rid of 16 lipsticks and keeping 12. That's awesome. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I just wanted to do lip liner quickly before I did uh, liquid lipsticks because those will stay in my hand. Um, and this is a little glossy already. But um, we don't have that many, so I'm not going to get rid of that many. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium. Again, I love this color. I love this formula. I love this um, lip liner. So definitely keeping that one. I will also be keeping my LA Girl Intense Auto Lip Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy. I probably will repurchase this when it's done. It's literally almost done. <laughs> that's all that's left. Um, I just gotta bite the bullet, but um, I definitely am keeping this color. I'm obsessed. This one I think I can get rid of. It's the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in the shade Chestnut. I did actually like this color a lot, and you know maybe if it was in fall, I would keep it. Although that color's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. I just, it's so freaking huge. It doesn't even fit in my lip liner drawer. So I have to keep it in a different drawer and then I don't use it. Let me think on that. Um, we have the Jaclyn Prawling, which I honestly think I want to get rid of too. Let's just watch it right here. Sorry, you didn't see that. It looks so much like um, Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I think I could get rid of Jaclyn. We have the ColourPop BFF lip liner, which I also think I could get rid of. Oh my gosh. I just never wear it. It's so light skin for me. I think I'm going to get rid of that one as well. Okay. Stay. Um, I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner in the shade Soft Pink. I actually really like this lip liner. It's not my favorite color, but I do want to hang on to it a little bit longer. These are so similar. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my gosh. All right, then we have the Milani Understatement in the shade 110 Nude Untrance. Um, I actually have had this for so freaking long. But I think I'm going to hold on to it a little bit longer. It's actually a really nice color, um, but it does look like Jaclyn, so I'm okay with getting rid of Jaclyn, you know? All right, then we have the Sephora Crayon Lip Liner to Go in the shade Classic Red. Um, I like having a red, but I don't think I need it that much because I don't even wear red that much and like I feel like a liquid lipstick could do the job. So I'm going to get rid of this lip line. Oh, I don't know. I'll keep it. 
Uh, and then I'll get rid of the Wet and Wild because I'm honestly not going to miss it that much. So we're keeping one, two, three, four, five, and we're getting rid of three. That was just super quick and, you know, just, just for the sake of showing you. I'm going to keep these five. Yeah. That looks like a good, like, good variation, too, of, like, two high-end, two drugstore, and then one kind of middle, because it's a four collection. This one is probably $6, but the normal Sephora collection is probably, like, 20 Okay, you get the idea. Okay, next we have my liquid lipsticks. This I don't see myself getting rid of too many, not gonna lie. I'm definitely keeping all three of my Harry Potter. I don't use them that much, but this is H. Potter. These are Lux like lipsticks or something like that. Like they don't dry down. I don't think fully matte. I don't wear them that often to remember. Um, actually, maybe they do. But this is um, Ron Re R. Re R. Weasley. Ron Weasley. And this is Hermione Granger, H. Granger. This one is the most, like, wearable for me. <laughs> and the Harry Potter one actually is actually nice in, like, the fall uh, months. Um, but I never wear that, like, orangey color. But I like having all of them. They're my favorite. So I'm definitely keeping all three of those. Um, let's just do... Let's go that way. Okay, this is the Ofra liquid lipstick actually in the shade Pasadena. I actually really like this color and I really like this formula, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Again, a lot of these liquid lipsticks are more like fall-esque just because usually, I don't know why that's the vibe for the fall. It just is. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that one. Of course, I'm keeping my Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Honesty. It dries down to be like a lip stain, so that's why it's in this category. Um, but I love this color so much. I think this is the perfect color for me. I'm so glad I picked this one up because I could wear that all the time. It's finally time for my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquify Lipstick. I might give it last one last hurrah in my full face of Too Faced, but that's it. It's starting to not smell as good as it used to and this is my favorite color in the whole eye world like honestly this is like i could cry right now because this is my favorite color i love the shade i love this formula loved everything about this lip gloss i really would beg them to bring this back but i'm gonna get rid of it for now <laughs> it's my first liquid lipstick getting rid of i'm also gonna get rid of the jacqueline um truth i have nothing against you know jacqueline or her brand honestly i feel like everything <laughs> of regards to her you have to like kind of overly explain it's just the shade is horrible look at all these shades. like this is not the shade for me look at it against my skin it just looks hideous um so i really picked a bad shade and um i'd rather pick up something else for her from her line just like a lip gloss or anything like that I think I honestly oh, I think her powder is my favorite so you guys know that but I'm getting rid of that color like look at that color <laughs> oh my gosh I think I will hang on to the KVD everlasting um hyper light liquid lipstick in the shade queen of poison um this was like a free gift with purchase but I actually did like this color a lot and I feel like it's like a little bit bolder a little bit obviously fall-esque but I want to hang on to that through a fall and then we'll declutter it if I am not wearing it I probably should just get rid of this as well it's the ColourPop Fresh Kiss it's the lip cream in the shade first taste I got this in a mystery box and I actually do really like the color I just don't wear it because it's super super light like I have to wear a pretty deep lip liner with it I'm just gonna get rid of it I don't need it I am gonna keep both of these though um this is the Sephora they're the I don't know what they're freaking called oh they're the cream lip stains this is the red shade in the shade number one i don't remember what the actual name of it is but i really really love this color i think it's so nice these are um you can wipe off the rest of like the gloss and then it still stains your lips which is really really nice um and so i really appreciate those this is the shade number 72 i know this one's called alter ego if you're looking for it this is definitely a dupe though for my Too faced one it's a little bit cooler toned but on the lips they look like identical so i love 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 this color um and i'm okay getting rid of my Too faced because i found this one but um honestly i would like to find like just the exact same color um honestly three six eight. okay we have eight up there Maybe we can keep this down to 10. I will be keeping the um, Maybelline Super Vinyl Ink <laughs> in the shade number 10, Lippy. I actually would have liked to have a different color of this one. Um, I'm shaking it up. But I would have liked to have a different color, but I do like this color. So I probably would pick up another color just to have it. Um, but I really like this shade. Obviously, you can see they're all different. And I think that's something that I really 
pat myself on the back for. I don't have a lot of repeating colors in any category in my collection. Um, lip products, I should say, uh, besides like clear. But honestly, that one I could have 50,000 clears and use them all up. Um, so it's fine. But like as far as like lipsticks, like, like all these things, I feel like I have a pretty good variety. I don't really have a type. Like I like what I like when I like it and that's kind of it. Um, so I'd like having a variety. I just know what I won't use. Like I know I won't be using like that one, that one, you know, like some of these I know I just don't look good on me. But this one does look good on me at some point. So I'm definitely holding on to that one. Now we have three. I think that leaves one spot left, right? Yep. We got one spot left and three of the same brand. <laughs> this is the She Glam, again, from the Love Dive collection. I have the, uh, they're just the liquid lipsticks. Um, I love this collection, don't get me wrong. I've gotten rid of a few products from this collection. I just don't like having excesses of amounts. Um, but I did do a full review on the entire collection, if you have not seen that. Um, and I loved, loved doing that, so I probably would do it again. Um, not everything is going to work for me, and that's completely fine at all times, I should say. Um, so that's completely fine. <laughs> um, I loved the, there's one blush that I love, the primer. I, like, certain things I found love, and I wouldn't have found if I didn't review the collection, so... I'm kind of glad, but we'll see which one we can get rid of, which ones we could get rid of. This is called Hearts Entwined. I'm just going to swatch it down here. They're like a moussey consistency. Hearts Entwined. I remember liking that. This one is My Twin Flame. I also remember liking this one as well. Ooh, that one's pretty. They're so similar already. And then this is Forevermore. I don't honestly remember loving this one, but we'll see. Oh, crap. That one looks really pretty. Okay, looking at the rest of my hand, but those lighter colors, I feel like... Is this one a little bit darker? I'm just going to swatch it over here just so I can see for a second. Yeah, this one's a little darker. That might be nice to have. But do I really wear it that much? Okay, so I quickly just tried them all on, and honestly, um, the one I like, I like the, I, okay, I know I could get rid of um, my Twin Flame. Actually, it's this middle one here. It just looks a little too red on me, um, but then the other two, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm kind of like, should I just get rid of, like, another one so I could keep both of these? Because honestly, I really like both, um, sorry, this one and this one on me, and they're a pretty unique compared to all the rest of them. All of these look a little bit more cool um toned besides like the these kind of colors um this one let me swatch it well this is rare beauty this one's gonna lay that one I honestly think i'm gonna keep the shade forever more is that the one that was at the bottom that was the one i was like i don't remember liking this one but this one ended up being so pretty i think i'm gonna keep forever more because honestly like this it's right here again this is the same color um I don't have really any light, any other lighter colors like this. I have a pretty, like, more deep color over here. Um, and, like, if I want to wear it. Like, you know, I have some deeper colors as well um, that I don't necessarily need this one. But I think I want to keep um, this one, which is uh, Forever More. I feel like, like, right now looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. Like, I want to keep it. But, like, looking at my collection, like, when I go back at home and, like, put it in, I know for a fact I'm not going to reach for it <laughs> ever. I didn't even remember the colors, honestly. Um, so now I know, like, I have one. I have the color I like. It's a lighter color. I'll remember that, and it'll be fine and dandy. Look at this ratchet hand. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have kept, I shouldn't, I did liquid lipstick glass. Okay, so for my um, liquid lipsticks, I'm keeping 10, I believe. Let me just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Yep, ten uh, liquid lipsticks. And I'm getting rid of five of them. That feels really good, not gonna lie. Um, some of these are, like, <laughs> heavy on my heart, but I'm going to keep them. Like, I always keep these products, like, just in case. And I'm like, Marissa, that's no way to live. <laughs> Okay, so here is the basket of all the products I'm keeping. Um, it's pretty big, but you guys saw it before. It was pretty, like, high up. I'll just move you a little bit farther out. It was pretty high up of a basket, so this is actually really good. And I'm just going to turn you so I don't have to move all the products. This is everything I'm getting rid of. It's so much. I'm so happy with this though. Um, I like my lip products is one of those things that I was just dreading to like look at. Cause I'm like, I would feel bad for not using all these products, but like, I also know I wouldn't enjoy wearing them. Um, some again, like some of these, I feel like I want to keep and hang on to, but I just don't need them. And I'm like, oh, it's just, just in case, just in case. And then it turns into just in case, like one more week or just in case, you know, till my next declutter, just in case for another year. <laughs> and I'm like, you never, 
never used it and I have yet to use half of these things. So I'm just going to get rid of this. That is it for this video, guys. I know it was a longer one, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know any lip products that you <laughs> you think I should get add to my collection that I'm like, girl, you don't have this. You need this. Let me know. Let me know. I obviously don't need anything, but you know what I'm saying. Real quick, I just wanted to show you how my lip products are set up. So this is after they've been decluttered. Um, we have some lip products up there. These are my Harry Potter ones. Ooh, sorry. My Harry Potter ones, my um, Italia Deluxe ones, and then Laura Lee because it leaks. So I sat it upright. We have my lip liners in this drawer. They're kind of like biggest to smallest. Well, they're supposed to be like biggest to smallest basically. Um, just so I could see from here and not have to think too much. Um, over here, I actually cleared this space out. This was the um, ColourPop lipstick, so now I had room for like regular lipstick. So these are just a couple um, extra ones that, I mean, I could put them up there like with those, but I just, I like this better, I think. Um, and then we have my lip balms in here. This is so freaking full, but could you imagine like this plus all the other lip balms I have? Like it was overflowing, so. Um, and then this one is liquid lipsticks which ends right here so it's only these plus my harry potter ones but and then these are just like the stick lipsticks because they just fit better with all of these you know what i'm saying and then last we have lip glosses which i was trying to avoid them stacking which honestly they will because usually i pull one or two out like during every day just to bring with me but like this i would like to get down a little bit more three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Did I have 13 the whole time? 13. Oh, 14, 15. I had 15 in total. So maybe we could just bring this down to like um, 10 in here. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, that's where I keep all my lip products. <laughs> that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.